I mean, from the outside in, what, what, what it look like? We, we look good, right? I mean, that's how, we, that's how it's supposed to look. So I feel like we're looking good ourselves as well. Um, every day, just coming and walking in this building, just walking in, Coach O, keeping us humble, just, that's one of the main things. Is, this is probably one to be the harder weeks of the season, just coming off of a great win like that. Just for the rest of the year long, you got to stay focused and just press on and act like that never happens. Just keep on going and play the next game, next, play the new opponent. Well, I feel like everyone's main goal is to win. So, I mean, every week you have to reset that goal. Every week you want to win. So that's one thing that we all have in common, and we want, that's going to continue throughout until the season ends, is to win, win, win. How good does it feel to play in that game, but also play well in that? Perfect. Very good, very good. I'm just happy that I did enough for to help the team. You know, I feel like I left some stuff on the table. I mean, every week you leave something on the table, but it was just exciting. It just felt like I played good and I, I did a lot. I did a lot of things to help contribute and I just made sure I did my job throughout the game. How do you think the play of the entire defensive line when you watched the game the sideline last year, but they were dominated in the trenches against Alabama and you guys really bounced back this year from both sides and were able to fight that battle at the front really well? As we spoke about before, I mean, Last year, we all we all witnessed the the coach O comment, and that, I mean, and we reminded ourselves of what it was going to be about this game, and we made sure that throughout this game that we, we had that mindset to dominate throughout every every possession and every snap. So, and the D line of Rashad Lawrence and Brayden Fajoko, Glenn Logan, Tyler Shelvin, uh, from Neil Farrell to Apu, every every down and every snap, they just I saw it in their eyes from coming out of timeout and on the sideline, just they want to dominate, they want to dominate, and a lot of the guys they were just making sure that they did their job and they were just they were always want to help be held accountable, and I'm glad they had it and they played well. And watching the film today, I mean everything is it's always gonna be something to correct, but they played they played ecstatic, and I'm happy for them. It's always a problem. It's always it's never easy. It's never easy. It's, I'm speaking for the defense, and I know it's for Coach Aranda. That's just another person you got to always add about. Just think about whenever you're whenever you're accounting for run plays, you're not accounting the quarterback. So now that you have to account for the quarterback in every run play, now it's just it's it's an extra problem to take care of. But I feel like I feel like I can handle the job. I mean, my responsibility majority of the time is to handle the quarterback. So I feel like I'm a very great athlete. I don't feel like. Um, I feel like he's a great athlete. I've watched a couple. I watched some film, a couple snaps on him. He's a, he's above average when it comes to the run game. So, but I feel like I can handle that myself. I guess kind of being a leader on the team, you know, you're gonna have to make sure guys approach this game with just as much enthusiasm, you know, because your opponent is as big as Alabama. Is that a message that you guys start today and carry through? Yes, 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 all the way through. And we, we made sure that it was going through everyone's ear today and it's going to be going through everyone's ear tomorrow and just throughout the week. And it's probably, like I, it, this, like I said, probably one of the harder weeks throughout the season is to making sure we stay focused and worry about the next opponent and not our last. And make sure that this team that we're about to go against is probably probably not doing as well as they want to, but they're going to give us everything they got. And Coach O tells us all the time when they play home, it's like they play even 10 times harder. And that's the truth. When I played my freshman year, they play hard as well. So it's not going to be no easy game. I mean, we keep to make it look easier, we can make it hard, but it's always going to be about doing our job throughout the game and treating them like we treat our last opponent. What's been your favorite reaction to winning the Alabama uh, like a family member call you or kind of text you kind of stood um, like like Probably the, just looking at, I saw, watch Richard Lawrence face, him, I watched Connor, um, one of the assistant coaches, strength coaches from Clyde. I just seeing people who's from here and who has a past here. I mean, like I spoke about, I'm not from Louisiana, so I mean, I'm not going to try to down the situation, but it didn't really hit me as hard as it hit everyone else. But seeing people like Clyde, who's from this area, and Rashad, who's been here four years, and, and just watching them, and I just saw the emotion that it gave them out at the end of the game, and just I'm glad that it happened for them. It wouldn't, I'm glad it, it wouldn't happen to any better people. So and I made sure I played hard for them throughout the game. I told Rashad that, and it's like, man, with every, every play that I made sure it was hard, and I made sure I did whatever I job just for the other guys next to me.